Oh, you're not going to see much over here. Ooh, greetings, greetings, greetings. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay. Just wanted to share that. Okay, you guys can't see back here. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to have to find another spot for you. Let's put this somewhere else. So I know all of my YouTube videos are still showing me in Ghana, but I'm trying to find another spot for you guys. Oh, okay, let's see if I can work this. And this here. I'm trying to find another spot for my YouTube family. <laughs> All right, let's put this back a little. Scooch that over. I'm going to mix that together. I don't need these. It's garbage. Those are all of that's garbage. We'll just put that on the floor for now. I don't need those. All right. <clears throat> Clean that up later. Here's my spoon. have a necklace on underneath this and it's like bunching looks really weird try to get that to not bunch up under my shirt oh, I need this and I need this all of this can come over here alrighty okay you guys I'm bringing you closer uh. Uh-oh. Can you see? Can you see what's happening? Hmm. Greetings. Hey, Hoppy. How you doing? I'm making soap. I'm trying to figure out where to put my computer because I'm live on Instagram. Hey. And I'm live on YouTube. So I'm... Okay, I'm trying to wave at people, but it's not working. Yeah, I'm tr live on Instagram and I'm live on YouTube. So I'm trying to figure out how to navigate two of these. All right. All right. So as you come on, please say hello to me. Let me know where you're watching from. If you care, I'm really hoping y'all can see that pretty well enough. You're not going to see me, but you're going to get to see what I'm doing. Let me just turn this sideways and see if that works. It's not that much water in there. I think that's a little better. All right. So you're not going to get to see my face. Sorry, YouTube. But, um, and you guys are not going to get to see much of my face either because I want you to see what I'm doing. Uh, so once again, again, sorry to you guys too. But, all right, so I'm mixing up my lie. And while I'm mixing up my lie, I'm just going to tell you a little bit about, I know on all my YouTube channels, it's still showing me in Ghana. No, I'm not still in Ghana. I've been back for some time now, but I have the last couple of my videos that I made while I was in Ghana kind of scheduled to come out one after the other. So those are, ooh, let's get this away from my face. So those are still coming out and I've been back for some time. I did attend the International African Arts Festival. 
I didn't vent there. So all you people, yes, is waving to you. Oh, y'all is waving to me. Hi, y'all. Hi, Dejimon. The boo boo is waving at me. Oh, he's such a sweetie. Hi. Hi, Aminatu. Okay, well, as you can hear, I'm on my corner back in Brooklyn and all the noise outside. Well, I don't know if y'all could hear that or not, but all the noise outside is back again. So you're not hearing chickens. Instead, you're hearing all the traffic. But since I've been back, <laughs> I've had some crazy stuff happen to me. It's so funny. I go to Ghana and everyone's like, oh, Akwaba, welcome, welcome. I'm like, oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. You know, they always welcome you back home. You know, if you're a foreigner and you're coming, or even if you've been away for long and you're coming, um, you know, Akwaba, welcome. You know, they're glad to see you've come back. But um, since I've been back in the States, <laughs> I'm going to, where was I going? I was with my, oh, we were going to... My daughter's sister, she had a comedy show for her birthday, the 3rd of Janae. It was an excellent show. I loved it. <clears throat> and um, <laughs> so me and my sister are on our way to that show. We're walking. Train station, the train that's leaving, that's closest by me, <clears throat> they weren't going to Manhattan. So we had to walk up to the next train station. So we're walking. And as we're walking, this guy sees me. He looks a little bit drunk because he looked like he was inebriated, but I can't say for sure. <laughs> he looks and he proceeds to bow <laughs> and he's like, you look wonderful. You're, you're royal in your clothes because I have one all African clothing because that's just what I wear all the time when I'm going out. You know, I, I get dressed up. And my dressed up is African clothes, you know, so I had, you know, my matching top and <laughs> And Lapa on, and he's bowing to me, talking about, oh, queen, beautiful. I'm like, oh, thank you. <laughs> I just laugh. <clears throat> and me and my sister just keep moving. So we get into the city, because the show was in the city in the Bowery. Oh, my gosh. We get into the city, and another man, who also looked a little bit inebriated, like he could have been tipping a little bit too much. So he, <laughs> we get to Manhattan. And we see this other guy, he looks at me, he stands, his, opens his hands up wide and says, welcome to America. I wanted to pass out. <laughs> was like, what is wrong with these people? <laughs> He's like, welcome to America. I'm like, thank you, but I was born here. <laughs> he see me in all my African garb and I guess he figured I'm a foreigner. So everywhere I go, I look like a foreigner. Oh, my Lord. Welcome to America. I thought I was going to lose my mind. <laughs> my sister just looked at me. I was like, Lord, what is wrong with the people back home in the States? So, of course, we go to the comedy show. It's a wonderful show. <clears throat> We're on our way out leaving. And a guy who looks like he was actually born on the continent. <laughs> He had an accent, but it didn't sound like an African accent. He might have been from Haiti. I'm not sure. But it was a brother. <laughs> We're leaving. He's like, I'm FaceTiming my friend. Can I get a picture of you because you look beautiful? I'm like, oh, my Lord. <laughs> I'm like, thank you. Um, sure. <laughs> He's like, I'm FaceTiming my friend. Hey, lady. Hey, Ty. Happy belated birthday. Oh, my Lord. Yes, yeah, so I'm talking about all the things that has happened to me since I've been back. People treat me like I'm a foreigner here. I'm talking about welcome to America. And oh, my gosh, you look beautiful, queen, because I have on African clothes. I'm like, Lord, I can't. Anyway, I'm making soap. Oh, so, yes, that's all the funny stuff that has happened to me. All right, so what I want to do is measure out all my lie one time. So I need to, I'm going to let that sit. I can cool off a little, continue to melt down, uncloudify, because it gets a little cloudy. Can you guys see me well? I, I'm on live one. Huh? That's about all I can do. I could break you up. 
on Instagram and on YouTube. All right, so I'm gonna measure out my second batch of lie. Oh my goodness, I wish I stayed in Ghana and I was there for your birthday, Ty. But it looks like you had such a wonderful time. I'm happy for you. Happy stolen return, as they say. Happy. Uh oh, I got a chunk here. Let's see. Oh, that's too much. Okay, let's put that over here. I'm hoping I have enough. Oh, yeah. Oh, plenty. Now I got too much in this. Take some of that out. All right. Sorry, I'm not talking as I'm measuring my lie out because you know you got to get that measured out properly. We can't be playing with the lie. I got a chunk of lie. Okay. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. So that's what's been happening to me since I've been back. People have been tripping me out, welcoming me back to a country I was born in. Well, that, that, that was the funniest thing. Welcome to America. <laughs> I really thought I was about to pass out when he said that. I was like, Lord have mercy. All right, so we are making lemongrass and we're making, this says aniseed, but it's actually a blend that I made. It has a little bit of cinnamon and aniseed mixed. And it kind of, it's kind of spicy. But first, I'm going to mix up the lye. What are you guys saying? You have that Merita growth. Really? I hope it stays for a long time. <laughs> I hope it stays for a long time. <clears throat> I've had a couple of people when I was at the street festival because I saw everybody. They were like, you're back. And I'm like, yes, but I just saw you on YouTube. I was like, yeah, they're scheduled to come out. They're like, oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> what about street festival? This is the first year where I've gone to street festival. The first year in, oh my gosh, in over, it has to be more than, it might be more than 20 years. Because I started my business in 2007. And a couple of years after, it might have been 2009. I'm really not 100% sure, but I think 2009 is a good guess. The two years after I started my business, I started working street festival. Um, they were already at Commodore Barry. They had left. Um, it might have been the first year that they came to Commodore Barry, now that I think about it, too. So if anybody knows what year that was, you can just kind of let me know what year that was. International African Arts Festival. It's a, it's a really big festival for those who don't know. That happens in New York, July 4th weekend. It's usually four to five days, depending on how the, the fourth falls, on what day of the week the fourth falls. So it's either a four-day or five-day festival. This year was just three days. Greetings. As you hop on, please leave me a comment. Let me know where you're watching from. Tell me hello. All that good stuff. So, yeah, it was all of those it was all of three days. It was Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I didn't work it when I after I had been working it for a good over 20 years now. I've been working street festival vending. Um, so this year I felt like a fish out of water. I didn't know what to do with myself. I could just relax and enjoy. So that's exactly what I did. And it was weird. So everybody's telling me, you got that glow. I was like, please let the glow stay. Let the glow stay. So it was me and my sister out there, my Irish twin, messing with folk. Oh my gosh, looking at us. You guys look just alike. Are you are you related? Are you sisters? I'm like, who, her? Me? No, we just met. We do this all the time. We just met. Hey, Doreen. Welcome home. Thank you. It is nice to be back. I did miss my boo-boos. Although now that I'm back, my youngest boo-boo be driving me crazy. <laughs> She done got a dog, Doreen. That girl done got a dog in my house. You know I'm not happy, right? I don't do pets. 
Anybody who knows me knows I do babies. I don't do pets. I do baby boo boo, not dog doo doo. We don't. Do he there sleeping. I'm like, no, she didn't. She done got a dog. You know, I'm not happy about that. I'm like, look, took my grandma, calling me grandma like that's a child. I'm like, don't call me grandma. That's not a human. And that did not come out of your womb. So don't even start with that. She done got a dog without my permission. So every two seconds, I'm sweeping up dog hair. I can't. I can't. I'm like, look, the dog is forbidden from coming in this room. In any case, yes, yeah, she's driving me nuts. Back home with my Leo and Taurus children. Okay, so we measured out all of our lie. I'm doing two batches, so that's why I did two batches of lie. And what I'm going to do, because this has shea butter in I don't know if you guys can see. Anyway, it has chunks of shea butter in both of them. It has chunks of shea butter. So what I'm going to do, where's the, there it goes. I'm going to blend out, because <clears throat> I didn't melt it down. So I'm just going to. Got to kind of break it up. All right. Excuse the noise. Yes. Oh, my God is right. That child and God. I was like, this girl, I come in the house. I'm like, what the hell? What is that? And she's looking at me with a big old smile on her face. First, she sneaks a turtle in my house. Now, turtle is bad enough, but turtle stays in the little turtle cage. But the dog, I'm like, when do you get in your apartment? When are you moving? Yeah. <clears throat> Sorry for the noise. I right, just want to make sure all of that's broken up. Yeah, so you know I'm not happy. So I don't know. There's not anybody watching on Instagram. I don't know if I'm going to be going live on Instagram again. We won't be doing that. I'm just going to go live on YouTube. Uh oh, what's going on? What you're breaking up in here? So I started a new venture. And when y'all see some of the, oh wait, oh, I'm having a problem with my storage on my phone. I gotta see how I'm gonna finish editing that video. It wasn't allowing me access from my phone editor, the latest video that I've done. So it's, it's a little bit annoying. But I started a new venture, and of course, I videotaped it. So I don't want to be a spoiler alert. Oh, wait, sorry. I forgot about Instagram that ain't nobody watching on, but they are still there. It is still on, rather. Okay, so we got that done. Let's just put this here. Man, come to the house, dog. I was not happy. So I'm still unpacking. I have not finished unpacking yet. But I got to see so many people that I hadn't seen in so long. And of course, you know, there was no street festival last year because of COVID. So... That didn't happen. Oh, you know what I was supposed to do? I was supposed to get, oh, it's here. Get my colorants because I'm making lemongrass and star anise. So the lemongrass is going to be yellow. Well, yellow and white, I should say. So I need a 
I'm going to add a little bit of titanium dioxide in here for the color. Just to get it a little bit more white. So that when I do the yellow coloring, I'm going to put too much. Last time I was making blackberry sage. And yeah, I put so much white that it kind of made it a little bit brittle. Put a little bit too much. So I'm going to blend this up. So I was supposed to be doing a soap making class next weekend. Can't do that. Because of this darn dog that she didn't got in my house. But that's okay. I'm, I'm being grateful and thankful. That's what I've been saying. That's been my slogan. Every time I find myself fussing, I say grateful and thankful. I'm grateful and thankful. Just remind myself to be grateful and thankful. Okay, so I'm going to put some yellow. I need a... Mm, oh, I don't have another bowl. Ooh, I'm going to have to use this. I don't usually use this. Hmm. Oh, wait. No, I don't. I have enough. I don't have to use this. Where did I put all oh, I know where I put it? Because I was making soap in Ghana. So I took some of my stuff to Ghana. I'll be right back. Oh, no worries. <laughs> Not abandoned you. Had to get another. Oh. <clears throat> All right. So we're going to add our live first. And then we're going to pour some off into. How could I use this? <clears throat> now that I think about it, I think I will use that. Okay. So. Yep, that's what's going on in my house. I finally had some regular old Southern fried fish. <laughs> so there's a group that meets <clears throat> in, in Accra every last Sunday of the month. And it's like a cultural exchange group, networking. It gets diasporans from the diaspora. And... Ghanaians to come together and talk about some of the issues that we have in coming together as a community and just to exchange cultures, get to know each other. Um, so one day they had a, a games night and they had soul food that they always offer food, but they had soul food offered this time and they had fried fish. <laughs> now, anybody from the States know we used to fried fish with no head, no tail and no bone. They have fried fish. They fried the whole fish, the bones. The tail, the head, <clears throat> it was so funny. <clears throat> I'm like, okay, well, let's fry fish. <laughs> they fried the whole fish. So we had street festival and I had fried fish that had no bones, no head and no tail, as I call real fried fish. <laughs> oh gosh, real fried fish, that's funny. Anyway. It was just the way I expect to, to have it. Okay, so I want to pour off some of this in another 
container. Because we want to... Hmm. You want to have some one color and some what's the other color? All right, so I kind of want it half and half because I'm going to have the bottom part. Maybe I don't want it half and half. I'm going to have the bottom part yellow and I'm going to have the top part like with a a bit of a coating like a white frosting on top we're not going to swirl it all right so we're going to blend this together now i'm going to leave that unblended because i don't want that to get too i don't want that to really come to trace just yet so i'm gonna let that sit Okay, now I don't want to blend this too much either because I still need to add the fragrance. <clears throat> Wait, that's not the right one. This is not the one I've been using. That's okay. That's the one I'm going to use right now. Alrighty. I'm not gonna add that to the wait, I don't want to put that much in. I'm not gonna add this to the other side just yet because sometimes fragrances can start to make the soap trace a little bit faster. So I want to get this in the mold. And it's okay if in the mold it gets a little bit thick because air bubbles. <laughs> I was not trying to get air bubbles in here, but... Splattering and the splashing everywhere. All right, so let's move this out of the way since I don't need this anymore. And let's get our mold ready. Get our mold ready. Looks like there's speckles of, hmm. Looks like there are speckles, and that's what I don't want of colorant. this in the mold. It's like it's leaking. No, it's not. It like it was leaking for a second there. Pour this in the mold. Now, before I put the white on top, what I'm going to do 
is texture at the top. Oh, sorry. Got the bowl all in the way. I'm used to using a certain hand, so. down the sides because we don't want any just a little bit left in here So the other one, I'm going to do black and white. Uh, this one is going to be yellow and white. And this looks like it's not going to do what I want to do. I'm going to put this to the side. And then I'm going to do the other side. I want to texture that so that when it's on the top, it looks like, you know, kind of looks sweet. So we're going to see. this in. Don't forget the fragrance. wear gloves and gargles because if this stuff splashes in your eye not good <laughs> You enjoyed following my visit to oh thank you well, there's a couple more that's coming out of me still in there a couple more coming out all right <laughs> to be too thick anyway, but I do want this to be a little thicker. A little bit thicker. So let's see. Nope, it's not doing much. I'm gonna put some textures. The textures that I'm putting in it's not gonna stay just yet actually needs to sit a little bit longer. So in the meantime, I'm going to put this aside, move this aside, and I'm going to start with this. And i got to clean this off. Okay, maybe we won't start. Oh, I could use the other one. Okay, we'll move this aside too. This time we will use this stick blender. See, it's a good thing I have more than one stick blender. Because we want this to harden a little bit more. I want it to be a bit stiffer so I can texture it. So when this goes on top of, not this, when this goes on top of that, it will have a little texture underneath it. All right. So we're going to break up the shea butter that's in here. Oh, we did that already. I forgot we did that. Okay. Oh, 
better. Better. Not 100%, but a little bit better. Let's see. Okay, this is still look pretty. A little better, but not 100%. Still going to wait. So we will start with the next batch while that sits to harden. I already mixed my live water, already mixed my oils. Everything is measured out by weight, not by volume. When you are making soap, everything has to be measured out by weight. Okay, so I'll use this like I did the other one. We go. stuff because before I went to Ghana, excuse the noise outside, I um, pretty much sold out all of my product that I had made because I didn't want it sitting for three months. I like people getting freshly made products, so I sold out all of that and when I have some product that's all made and ready to sell, I'm going to announce and, of course, offer a sale. It will be my welcome back to the state sale for you guys. So you all will benefit from my coming back. So as we know, the soaps take about four to six weeks to fully cure. Body butters, of course, don't need curing. But as soon as everything is nice and ready, I'll let you know. I'll put out a code, sale code. Oh, maybe, you know what? You won't need a code. I'll just put a sale on everything. You won't have to need a code and all that good stuff. Hmm. Should I make the bottom? This one is going to be the spicy one with the anise and the cinnamon. Should I make the bottom black and the top white? Or the bottom white and the top black. I think I'm going to make the bottom black and the top white. I ask you and then I don't let you answer, right? Mm. It's the sense of asking if you're not going to let people answer. All right. I'll use this one. Wait. Well, actually, I won't need... Well, I'll need for the top, but I won't need for the bottom. Because that's going to be black. And putting white in will just actually make it look more gray than black. So this one is going to have, I'm not going to use the oxide. I'm going to use the activated charcoal. That. Activated charcoal. So sometimes ooh, it's really uh made a mistake and got it wet. I got a little bit of the soap batter on it, so it's wet now. Oh, well. That's fine. Well, let's not close that all the way in case we need more. All right, let me check this one more time. Ooh, nice. Okay. Now it's nice and hard enough that when I... Put texture, it stays. I'm making peaks and valleys, and it's staying. And hopefully, this is still good. Jiggly. All 
right, so what I'm going to do is just pour this on top. Put this aside for a second. Just pour this on top. Oh, good. You have a good view. Uh-oh. Okay, I need to mix this. I need to mix it. don't want it to mix in. I just want it to sit on top. And I think some of it mixed. I should have poured it on a spatula, which I didn't. So some of it did mix in, which is okay. It's not a big deal. It's not really what I wanted, but it's okay. Let this harden again, the top part, and then I'll texture the very, very top. And a little bit of yellow got mixed with that. Again, it's okay. Paper towel. Let me clean off that bit. All right, so we're going to put this aside. I will texture the top of that. Let's move this over there. And this other side. This can come here because I'm done with that. And I, I really do need my paper towels. Do I have any over here? No. All right. Let's get to this. So we're not using this one. We're using this one. Oh, wait. Oh, getting thick. All right. Let's move a little quicker. This one might have to be a little different because it's getting already too thick. Oh, and I shouldn't have put that in here. Oh, well. So I need a little bit more. Yeah, activated charcoal was real poofy. So let's try to get that under, under my blender. has that licorice type of smell to it so that's why I wanted to do black and white although the top looks like it's not going to be too white we'll see Wait as long for this to thicken up because it's already nice and thick. Okay, I need my paper towel and I don't have one, nor do I have time to go get one. So I'm gonna have to use this to wipe down my.
spatula. Okay. Just bring this here. This off. So we do the bottom first, and then we'll work with the top, and hopefully it's not really, really hard. We hope. <laughs> we could only hope. Yeah. Looks like it might have a bit of a green tinge, which I was hoping didn't have because the soap base was so yellow. But we'll see how it turns out in the end. Ooh, losing my glasses. All right, okay. All right, so we're going to put texture in it. It's not that much texture. Because it's actually falling a little bit. All right. That can sit for a little bit. I'll redo this side. And as you can see, if you can't see, it's thickening up a little bit. I think I'm going to put a bit more titanium. Where is it? The oxide on this side because I really want this to be white. Use the white side. Hopefully, my black gets in there. in the true color just yet. I should have did the white first. Because now I have to clean off this too. Because we can't use the black one. Because all that black will get in there. So now we have to clean this off. So then we have a mix of scent. So that we don't have a mix of scent rather. All right, back to this one. Spatula. Okay. No spatula. That's okay. And I'm hoping this looks more white than yellow because I'm not going to add any more titanium dioxide. It's going to make it way too cakey. When you add too much.
right, last wipe off. No spatula, but I will use a spoon. All right, so wipe that up because I'm making a mess. I'm gonna put this back over here, get that out of the way. See if I can do a little bit more texture. Oh, nice. Nice and thick. Okay. A nice thick put this on top. And then I will be done. I think this one is gonna turn out a lot better than the lemon grass. to design. Oh, I made a mess. All right. done with this I will post some pictures of the top and of course I'll take a video of the cutting like always but this is the end of my show so I thank you all let me see if I can do a little for joining me Thank you for hanging out with me on my corner today. It's been a plump, pleasing pleasure, as my grandma used to say. Plump, pleasing pleasure. Oh, I'm not liking this top. Well, this is going to be it. Don't want to over mix. Sometimes I do that and it just messes up totally. <clears throat> That's it, folk. Let me text you the top of this one. I think I'll use my stick. 
plastic. Let's see. Oh, this is nice. All right. Well, I totally messed this up. That's the end of that. I'll see y'all in the next video, guys. Thanks for watching. Congratulations and many blessings on your mind. Oh, thank you, Doreen. Awesomeness. Are you using shea butter you brought back from Ghana? And you? Yes, I will be using the shea butter I brought back. And specifically, more so than in the soaps, I will be using it in the body products. Because that's where it... um. When I do my butters and my lotions, I'll definitely be using the newer shea butter. And the shea butter that I have, I'll continue to, because I put shea butter in my soaps. I'll continue to use that other shea butter in the soaps. But the new shea butter that I got from Ghana, most definitely I'll be using the newer shea butter because it has, it's definitely a different quality. So if I'm going to make shea butter that's going to be going directly on the skin, I want it to be the best quality that it possibly can be. So I will be using that new shea butter in all of the body products. And the older shea butter that I already have, I will be using it. I'll use those in the soaps. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry, you can't see me. <laughs> I'll see you on the next video. <laughs>